But it is that panda guy, and today I'm gonna be talking about one of the new heroes, a dut. And I kind of want to kind of just explain like her skills, a good talent tree, which is gonna be shown from the strategy guide. Because every time I do agree with the strategy guide, I think they, you know, the game knows what they're doing. So I'm glad they do have this here to make my job easier, especially since you can't really see the talent tree without like the strategy guide before you unlock a hero. So it's pretty nice, unless I mean someone else has it and they show you but either way so first off we're gonna be talking about a dut we're gonna do peterson in a different video and i'm first gonna just show you guys the strategy guide because why not so this is how the game sets the builder and every time these strategy guides come out they are um i guess directed towards field combat so if you did want to use her for something else you might want to change up her tree though i can't really see her having much other uses maybe rallying like i feel like it'd be rallies or field combat and even then i don't know she'd be like a super good rally hero i don't really have enough knowledge on her yet um she is an infantry hero and she is skill type she does seem like she's gonna be good and when you hit claim you can actually see how you can obtain this hero as well as the other hero. And this one's going to be through Lucky Roulette. You can assume that in regions that are 110 days plus old, you're going to be getting this in your next Endless War event, which is going to be really cool, or Top Commander as they call it now. Which as you can see in the bottom area, it says this hero can only be used in federations with a history of more than 110 days. And I don't know if um, regions under that can see it last time. Uh, they couldn't so I'm assuming a lot of people won't be able to see this hero until your region is 110 days old And then you'll be able to just look at this at least. All right, we're gonna hop into our first skill So it's obviously gonna be a rage record skill just like all the others and it deals damage to a target and the damage factor goes from 3.6 so 3,600 up to 4.8 6,000 8.4 and then 12,000 on her fifth skill as well as it increases your squad's defense by 9% for 3 seconds. And that can go all the way up to 30% if you get the skill up to level 5. So, you know, that's pretty cool. I mean, like, um, it's going to be, like, saving you a lot more troops. Because, you know, defense is just defense is just nuts, you know? So, you're obviously going to be doing this insane amount of damage factor towards someone. As well as getting this defensive that just lasts for um 3 seconds. Which, I mean, isn't really an insane amount of time, but... I mean, every second counts in the battlefield, you know? Next off, we're going to be looking at her second skill, which is increases infantry squad attack by 3.5% for every 5 seconds until it's up to 14%. And then that changes depending on the percent. So, for example, if you get it up to level 2, it'll be 4.5% increase every 5 seconds until it gets up to 18%. And then when you finally max it out at 5, you can always look at these yourself if you want. But when you finally get this skill up to level 5, it'll go from 11%, uh, sorry, it'll be increasing squad attacks percent from 11 by 11% every 5 seconds. So in 4 cycles of, you know, 5 seconds, which is 20 seconds, you'll be able to reach. 44 squad attack if you initiate into a battle which is just insanity i mean that, that's like 44 percent, and then it only goes up from there because when you look at these other skills and i will spoil it right now i was talking to tree and he told me and i actually did the math myself but it's 84 percent squad attack literally 84 percent squad attack whenever you have all these things triggered at the same time which is insanity that's to like like what the heck um we're going to look at this third skill, which is increases infantry squad travel speed by 9%. If the damage reduction is active on your squad, sorry, the damage, debuff, sorry. It's, it, so if this debuff hits your um, squad, there's a 50% chance that you'll nullify the debuff as well as heal your squad. And the heal factor goes from, from 1.3k, and you can look at the numbers yourself, up to 4.4k after you um, max out the skill to level five, as well as your travel speed can increase from 9% to 30%. But that's insane. The fact that one, you can, you have a 50% chance to roll these debuffs over as well as heal just by being debuffed. Like, isn't that kind of insane? Because I mean, it doesn't, it sounds like you have to be debuffed to get this heal, you know, heal effect. I'm assuming that's what it means, unless somehow it heals without it, but it says, and heals your squad. So just being debuffed, gives you a chance to heal as well as roll it off so it's like a double-edged sword to be debuffing this hero you know what i mean that's which is just crazy cool sorry for the pausing a lot guys and you know doing something right now but now we're gonna look at the fourth skill 
which increases squat attack by 12%. If the remaining squat size is greater than 50% while battling on the world map, it increases the def sorry, as well, as long as it's um, greater than 50%. So once your thing rolls under 50%, it'll um, change from squat attack to squad defense. So after it, like, I guess it goes under 50%, it increases your defense by 12% as long if, you know, it's smaller than 50%, which is just half your squad, right? And that can go from 12% all the way up to 40% if you max at the skill to level five. And that is like where 40% of the attack is gonna be coming from. And that kind of relies on you being over 50% of your squad. So if you do roll under 50% like of your squad left, of course, it's going to swap over defense, which means that it's not 84% anymore. But that's still kind of insane. Like that's actual insanity. Like as long as, like, I don't know. That That's like just, those are just insane numbers. But I mean, by the time your squad is in battle for 20 seconds, if it's getting melted, then you might not even reach that 84%. But if it's not like getting targeted or something, that's just like going to be, Oh, that's going to be brutal. Right, we're going to look at her last skill, or Awakened. So after you max out all these skills, you are able to awaken this. And upon receiving skill damage, it reduces your reduces your squad and up to five nearby ally squad skills damage received by 20% for two seconds. So if they receive skill damage, all like that squad and up to five squads, so that can be up to six squads actually. So that's definitely going to be like, any of your alliance members, I guess, fighting with you because, you know, usually it's like kind of referring to, you know, your main squad and then other five or other four. So you can't really like say that 100%, but it sounds like this is going to be, you know, of course, helping all your, all these squads around you. So basically it'll, it'll just nerf the skill damage that you're taking for two seconds, which is pretty cool. So, uh, oh, this is every time it receives skill damage. So like, there's like, I don't, Okay, so so it triggers only every six seconds. So as long as it keeps getting hit with skill damages in cycles of like six seconds, it'll basically be able to just keep reducing whatever damage it's taking as well as the other squads around you. And I mean, skill damage is so massive in this game. So I think this, this awakened skill is actually kind of like OP as long as like, especially if like, for example, you're fighting like a Lewis or maybe like swarming a base down, you could probably be... Um, taking his aoe skills for example like if he's dropping those circular aoe attacks and basically it should debuff the damage that each of those squads swarming might be taking like isn't that insane oh my gosh i actually did not like think about that that's that's gonna be such a nerf for some of these squads i don't know i do hope this video was helpful though i kind of just went over what i went over i do hope you guys enjoyed that and I will be making another video. I think I'm going to upload it tonight with this video about Peterson. So I hope you guys do look forward to that. And you guys have an amazing night. Peace out.